clergy member's case is now going in front of the Texas Supreme Court. In 2019, the Catholic Church released lists with names of priests credibly accused of sexual abuse in Texas. A West Texas deacon on one of those lists sued the Diocese of Lubbock for defamation. The diocese still argues they have a right to communicate freely with their congregation, particularly on this issue as they work to be more transparent. The case will go before the Supreme Court on appeal, but a court date has not yet been set. Texas Republican Congressman Michael McCall is leading the GOP Congressional Task Force investigation into China. Texas Democrat Henry Cuellar is leading the same investigation, but with a team of Democrats. Washington correspondent Anna Wernicke explores what's behind this investigative dysfunction. Texas Democratic Congressman Henry Cuellar says it's time Congress holds China accountable. China doesn't play by the same rules. Cuellar and the Blue Dog Coalition are asking for an independent commission to investigate China over issues like its role in spreading the coronavirus and how the U.S. can become less dependent on the country for critical supplies. Why do we have to depend on China on a lot of this equipment? Well, we ought to make sure that we built that here in the United States. Texas Republican Michael McCall agrees, but McCall says he's already leading the necessary investigation. We've already had uh, some very high level briefings, both intelligence community, at State Department with the National Security Advisor. McCall says House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy invited Democrats to join the task force when it launched in May, but Democrats declined. McCall says Congress doesn't need separate investigations with the same goal. If any Democrat wants to join us, uh, we have an open door policy. But Cuellar says the GOP task force lacks legislative authority. He wants Republicans to stop and join Democrats to avoid sending a divided message to China. It's one of those situations that we have to take a bipartisan approach on. The GOP task force is scheduled to release its first report on China next week. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. Thanks, Anna. The GOP task force is scheduled to release its first report on China sometime this week. The final report is expected by October. To the Texas-Mexico border now, where mayors and county judges are calling on the Trump administration to lift travel restrictions on U.S. land ports of entry. Those restrictions have been in place since March 20th due to the coronavirus pandemic. Only those deemed essential workers may cross. McAllen Mayor Jim Darling says pedestrian traffic on international bridges is down about 90 percent. Visit the BorderReport.com homepage for the latest exclusive stories and breaking news about issues along the U.S.-Mexico border. Some polling experts now call Texas a toss-up. Just ahead, the virtual push for victory and the two Democratic Senate candidates looking to unseat a longtime Republican senator avoided attacking each other. We'll fact-check what each said about John Cornyn.